Greetings today, my Focus RS. I am upgrading my Sync 3 unit to Sync 3.4. All right, then you may remember a while ago, we did the official Ford upgrade through the upgrade website that Ford provide, where you put in your details and then it gives you download files for both the sync system and indeed for the maps. When we did that, we got up to, if I just go to about sync, we got up to sync three, software version 3.0 build 19205 and the maps version F9. And that of course is all good. Um, it's uh, reasonably up to date and the maps are quite up to date as well um, but there is indeed i mentioned it in the video the last time that there is sync version 3.4 which very much changes like how this looks so i mean as it is i mean it's kind of like in dark mode now even though it's kind of not that dark at the moment well, i suppose i could probably change that actually display so let's go to day mode. So this is what it normally looks like then. Very um, light colored, um, but the sync 3.4 gives this a much more sort of blue, sort of almost slightly mid to dark blue color and just makes it even more modern looking. I mean, I think it looks great as is, but just the fact that there is that 3.4 update out there, I kind of want it. In order to do this, it's quite simple. There's a really cool website that provides everything that we need to do this upgrade. It's pretty awesome. Um, so the first thing that we gotta do is jump inside, go to my computer, go to the website, get the software, get the external USB device set up, and then we can come back and we can get 3.4 installed. All right then, here we are on my computer. So I've jumped over to the website that we need to use, which is called Cyan Labs. I'll throw a link into the description box down below because that is a big long URL that uh, you probably won't remember. But yes, what we want to do is this is exactly the page that we want to go to. Windows Automated Method Update Ford Sync 3 to Sync 3.4 with F9 slash 1.19 maps all regions. So if we scroll down here, um, there's like some black an introduction, um, benefits like nicer looking, etc, etc. Um, but if we scroll on down to this bit um, where it says automated method Windows application, this is the bit that I need to be at in order to get the sync updater. So this is a piece of software that will allow us to create our hard drive, to create our USB stick that we will then insert into the car, which will contain all the necessary files to do the update. So we click that link, uh, which takes us to the updater page. Over here, we see we have an installer. We'll just download that, and then we will install. Okay, um, so hopefully you can see this then. Once we are in the updater, we just need to accept this little disclaimer and that takes us to the car configuration screen. In here then, the first thing we have to do is put in our full sync version. So I am um, 3.0.19205. All right, I am, of course, Sync Region Europe. You can change that to your specific region, of course. We do have navigation, so we need to turn that on. We'll just leave that default. So, advanced options, install mode. If I go back here and scroll down, so, Updating auto install mode. If you're currently on 3.2 or above and don't require maps, that's not for us, so scroll on down. Updating reformat mode. If you're currently on sync 3.0, which we are, or lower, and want to update at all, you will need to use this method. So, of course, we do, so we need to go reformat mode. So, jump back in here. Whoop and go reformat here on the install mode. And um, that is basically it. So apply settings, then that takes us to a select a USB drive. So I'm going to select our device, which is this one. I've already wiped this, there's nothing on it, so I'm not gonna lose anything. Just make sure you back up anything that is on your USB device before you do this. Next up, new sync version, of course, Europe. And version. Go for the latest, so December 2020. That sounds good, that's very, very recent. All right, and then map version, we want to go for the latest. So F9 
2019 EU latest. So select packages. I'm just gonna leave that all selected and not touch any of that and then just hit start. So Sync3 Updater has set the install mode to reformat. Do not continue if you have a car manufactured in 2020. We do not. Ours is 2017. If you continue and have a car manufactured in 2020, you will break your sync. By clicking yes, you understand the above. Warning and confirm you do not have a car manufactured in 2020. I do not. So yes. Final warning, by clicking yes, you can confirm that you do not have a car <laughs> manufactured in 2020. This USB drive has already been used in Sync3 Updater, yada yada yada, to use existing files in USB drive. Click no to format the USB drive, yes. Do you want to format the selected? Yes, I do. Uh, warning, all data will be lost. Click yes, okay. Um, there we go. So that is the process started. It is downloading stuff. Uh, this will probably take a little bit of time. So I will just uh, pause the video here and come back once it is finished. And there we go. That is 100% complete. And we get this message. Um, do you want to update your log now? Yeah, why not? Um, oh, hello. And it just opens up your log and you can read through it if you wish. So would you like to update your current sync version in the app so it's correct for future use? Yes, yeah, sure, why not? The download and copying of the files is now complete. Simply eject the USB from the computer, insert it into your car, make sure the engine is running. Sync through now. <laughs> Very good, okay. So all we have to do is go down to the car now, insert the USB drive, and yeah, it's going to do this full-on reformat with our new version, Sync 3.4, and then that will be pretty much it. Um, it will take a while, so I'm going to do it whenever I'm next going out for a drive. But yes, down to the car we go. Alright then, I am back in the car. I have my external USB hard drive down here. I have it like positioned in here, sort of being held by one of the cup holders and then I've got my phone here as well. Um, so then we have USB cable coming out, of course, here. And then we're going to plug it into the USB port here. Um, but before we do that, um, I have fired the car up. I am going out to drive momentarily. Now you do need to either have the ignition on or you need to have that, the engine on, which of course means the ignition is on as well and you need to not interrupt that while this process is happening so that is why i am going for a drive now i'm going to be in the car for a while so i can just let it do its thing here um it will take a while to do it took in the region of an hour to download and set up the hard drive um using that program so um you would imagine that it'll take maybe around the same amount of time to offload all of the files onto here as well we grab our usb Plug it in, and you see we get the message updating system software, and it just automatically goes to restart the system, and we should then get that um, funky like screen. Um, it says to remove it, but don't remove it. Um, we should get the cool, weird, sort of old school looking screen um, that says it's going to be like, re yep, here we are, repartitioning EMMC. We have like a Ford logo and stuff, if you can see that. Ooh. We have a different picture of a Mustang. Essentially, we just gotta let this run. We gotta let it do its thing, just do what it needs to do, install the files where it needs to install them. And, you know, we don't actually have to do anything until it finishes and it will restart itself and it will come back up and it will be all nice sync 3.4. So, yeah, it's just a waiting game at this point. So now it says extracting apps package. So yeah, because this is likely to take uh, a reasonable amount of time, um, there's no point in me sitting here holding the camera while I'm trying to drive. So um, whenever something interesting happens on the screen, I'll just dip in and then dip out again. Um, so yeah, just a waiting game, letting it do its thing. All right, so it's moved on a bit and now it says that it's extracting the map package, which I would imagine is probably the biggest part of this. The maps, the map files are pretty huge, um, but yeah, progressing nicely. And as you can see, it has only been running for six minutes. So cool. 
right then a little bit more than 25 minutes in and we are now beyond the maps it took a decent amount of time i guess but not too bad uh, so now it says extracting voice package um so yeah that's just a little update for you um progressing nicely i would say all right now it is extracting voice nav package and we are time stamp 27 and a half minutes all right, so that bit took a wee while. We're now at 44 minutes, um, but it's moved on now to extracting Grace Notes package. So it's just jumped by a couple of different packages, which I didn't have time to grab the camera for, so they must have been pretty small. Um, but you can see it's now on enhanced dab package, and we're on 45 minutes. All right, so here we are. It's 47, just gone 48 minutes. Uh, the screen has gone all green and it says update successful please remove usb Tink. and i wonder will it restart itself oh yep there it goes we are rebooting just have the ford performance rs screen just as normal and here we are, that nice blue design, new fonts, new all sorts of stuff. Installation in progress, some features will continue to be key. All right. Language set to oh. English. Oh, hello. So I'll just hit close on that. Do you want to turn on the following features? Yeah, sure, why not? What am I like, blah, 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 vehicle. Okay, that's very nice. All right, well, there we go. That is the basic installation done. Now, it does, oh, sync. Okay, that's that's nice, thank you. And it's loading up our maps, and it still has the correct time and all that kind of stuff. It does say in the instructions that at this point, once we get it in here, that we should go and just do a factory reset and just within the sync system menu. So I'll go settings. Oh, this is very different now. And over where are we general I would say so scroll down and yeah there we go so we'll do this master reset all systems yes that's all very nice continue so resetting to factory defaults I think they say that this is just to clear up any you know files or anything that are left over um, that might confuse the system and then this will just give us a nice even playing field uh, to start from so just gotta wait for this to do its thing, resetting to factory defaults. So it just went off, I guess it's, yep, rebooting itself. Okay, so asking all these same questions that I asked before, just hit okay on everything. Uh, so yeah, at this point then we obviously do have to, oh cool, we have our little uh, radio icons it just has default to radio one so we've got to basically configure everything we need to reconnect our phones with the bluetooth and all that kind of good stuff but that's par for the course we were expecting that because we were doing the full-on reformat to get to 3.4 but uh yeah so far so good very smooth process and it looks awesome so yeah just have to have a wee play around with it now so it actually has kept all of my radio stations logged in here um, it just whenever we did the reset it went to FM instead of DAB so flicking over to DAB um, you can see I've got all my um, pre-selected uh, radio stations that I had dialed in before so that's actually pretty awesome so I mean obviously the fact that we can visually see the new blue theme and the new font and all that kind of stuff and the menus are kind of different um, I can still go into general and about sync and you can see we are now software version 3.4 and navigation maps f9 so yeah this is basically as up to date of a sync system as we can get in our focus rs and it looks i think absolutely awesome 
dead cool. I mean, it's dead cool the fact that we get the uh, radio station icons and all of them. And it does say on the website that we may have to do like the APM upgrade and stuff um, to get that to work. Um, but clearly we don't with this latest version from the Cyan Labs. Um, I gotta say that's a great, awesome tool that they provide for us for absolutely free. Um, really nothing to complain about there. Just really absolutely fantastic. Feels very smooth and responsive. Navigation looks great. I mean, everything just looks great. It's exactly what we want. And we have, of course, um, all of this stuff up here as well. Uh, so yeah, couldn't be more happy with that. Absolutely happy days. There we are then, Sync 3.4 upgrade. Absolutely awesome. I think it's just looks so nice and the process was actually relatively simple. Obviously it took a bit of time, a couple of hours, an hour to set it up and an hour to actually install it. But now that it's done, I'm super duper happy with it. A big, big thank you to Cyan Labs for providing all the tools and the files to do this. They just make the process so streamlined. It's awesome, I can't thank them enough. And thank you as well for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, share, and subscribe for more content to come very very soon thank you once again goodbye